All right, guys, my name is Coach Kayla, and this is Life, Health, and Success Made Simple. And in this episode, we're going to talk about WAP. Yep, I said it. We're going to talk about WAP and also the implications that WAP can have on you. Yes, me, the health lady, is talking about WAP, right? We're going to use this in a life success kind of manner. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to the channel itself. Make sure you listen to the podcast. Download the podcast. Share, rate, like, love, comment. Give me some feedback. That's what really helps me when you guys share this information and when you give me feedback. I really appreciate it. So without further ado... Why? 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 <laughs> All right. So this morning I had a client, right? And every session we always go over what are the things that you did last week. So nutrition wise, you know, what went well? How would you grade yourself? What do you need to improve on? Um, and then also uh, exercise wise, what went well? How many times you work out? What do you need to improve on? And so my client told me that she did not do well at all last week in her exercise sessions. And I'm like, okay, well, let's dive deeper into that. She said it wasn't that she wasn't excited about doing the workout, not that she wasn't motivated about doing it. She wasn't tired. She had the proper nutrition and, you know, actual calories getting to the workout. But during the workout, she felt that she was almost overwhelmed with with what was happening. She couldn't really put a put a note a, a name on it. So I asked her, I'm like, okay, well, uh, let's dive deeper into that. So being the life coach that I am, I want to figure out what's what. It's like, well, what happened? You know, what were you doing during your workout? She was like, well, I've been on this Cardi B and this Meg Thee Stallion kick. So I've been listening to a lot of them, a lot of trap music. And um, this this song just kept coming on, this, this WAP song. And every time I heard it, it kind of just, I don't know what happened. It just made me kind of just... And so we're on a Zoom chat, so she's doing this, right? Um, and I'm looking at, like, in my mind, I'm just blown away. I'm like, wow. So you had a physical reaction to the music that you heard. And then I think back, like, if, if you've never thought that you've ever had a physical reaction to music, go to church. <laughs> so you know that music can really help to dictate or at least sway your mood. It can sway how you feel. It can sway what you do. It can sway what you say and what you intend to do. You know, so when we look at the music that we listen to, what we have to ask ourselves, what are we listening to? Are we listening to things that are going to improve our day, our lives? Or are we listening to things that are going to really kind of put us in either a depressed or or a state that is against ourselves. And so I, I asked her, I'm like, okay, well, well, tell me why. What about the song um, or those types of songs are you hearing that um, really affects you so much? And, you know, Sis was real honest with me. She said, well, I'm. it's hard to work out, you know, to that music for me. And I used to be okay with it. I'm speaking in her voice now. She's like, I used to be okay with it, but now it's getting harder and harder to work out to that type of music because I, I hear what I want to look like, but I, I hear what they're doing and I, I hear how they're doing it. And then I feel like I will just never add up. I'll never measure up. So I want to pause right there. I want to say that, you know, don't just skip out like, oh, okay, well, that's crazy. It's not like there have been tons of things that even myself that I've seen where I'm just like, oh, well. They, I might not be able to get that far or get to that point. We, we have to realize that A, self-value. Okay, so I really want you to take a look at yourself. You are beautiful. You are awesome. You are amazing. And it's okay that you're not where you want to be, whether it be physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, socially, financially, whatever. It's okay. And but it's also okay and almost better that we are working towards it. So you, my friend, are amazing. You have value. You have worth. So never compare yourself to the one percent. Right now, the thing is, I'm looking at, OK, Cardi B and Mega Stallion, they feel like they've made it. You know, they've got a song that's on the top charts. That's great. Go on, sister girl, do your thing. But at what cost? You know, at, at what cost? Now, mind you, my client is not eight years old. She's not 13 years old. She's not an impressionable youth. This is a grown woman. OK, a grown woman in, in early 30s who is struggling with the music that she's hearing affecting her thought process towards the possible outcome that she could have or even the goals that she has. So if you ever felt like that, if you've ever experienced that, type it in the comments like this thing here really affects my ability or my thought process towards X, Y and Z. So let me know. But I want you to know, like you are more than a whop. 
If you don't know what a WAP is, a WAP is a three letter acronym. It stands for wet. It stands for a three letter curse word. And then it stands for, the P stands for a cat, right? So women, this part right here is specifically for women. You are more than a WAP. That may be something that you have, okay? But you are more than a WAP. You are a mother, you are a friend, you are a daughter, you are a cousin, you are a spouse, you, you are a worker, you are a, a, a coach, you are a mentor, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are powerful, you are royal. You are amazing. So don't let anything that you hear that may be der derogatory towards women or towards blacks or towards gays or towards whatever thing that you identify with, don't let that put you down. Realize and internalize what I'm telling you right now. You are phenomenal. You are phenomenally made. You are beautiful. Again, you are royal. You are worth it. So I, I thought it was super interesting that we went into, okay, the music that she used to listen to when she was younger, it, it, she really can't get into the mood to exercise because now she's internalizing what she's not, you know? So you may be looking at something and that may make you think like, okay, well, I'm not that. And I'll tell you, a lot of people do that to me. I may post a, one of my own personal workout videos where I'm preparing for a bikini competition or for um, a uh, powerlifting competition. And obviously, I'm a competitor. So I'm doing things that the normal person wouldn't do. But I've had people almost fit shame me to say that, you know, kind of put me down for the things that I was doing. And it's like, hey, I'm posting this not to shame you, but to motivate you. Now, please don't anybody comment and tell me that, well, Cardi B is trying to motivate us for feminism and all that. No, that's just nasty. Like, it's okay to do whatever you want to do in your bedroom. That's fine. Do you? Get it in. Ow. But I don't want to hear about it. And when it starts to affect people, that's that's a no-no. So I almost didn't make this video because I've, I've been disturbed at the song. Like, I can't even enjoy just the beat because it's just trifling. And then it kind of makes you as a, it can make you as a woman look at yourself. Well, if I don't do that, am I adequate? Do not compare yourselves to these one percenters who many of them aren't even living the life that they talk about, which is kind of a good thing in this situation. <laughs> but I want to just be here to encourage you on the fact again, 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 you are beautiful, lady. You are awesome, woman. You are worth it it okay so now here here's some guidance and some things that we can put into action to see if whether it, it may not be music you know but to see if your morning routine kind of affects your day like have you ever had a day or a situation in your day where you're just like man i don't know where that attitude just came from it just came out of nowhere i don't understand just was that me like have you ever had that because i have here's a good way to figure out where those things are coming from so we already know that music, it can sway you. You know, it can sway you to be positive, it can sway you to be negative, it can sway you to be kind of, you know? So it's about what are you doing to set yourself up for a positive and successful day? So I want you to try this, right? So I want you to try this for, take a week out of this year, and we're gonna use this whole seven days as an experiment, okay? So day one and day two, I want you to listen to gospel music in the morning. Now, I don't care if you're in the shower or if you're on your morning walk or jog or you're doing your morning meditation. Listen to gospel or whether it be old school, whether it be contemporary. Listen to something that's uplifting and motivational, some type of, again, uplifting, motivational style of music or thing. Okay. Now, the middle of the week, um, day three and day four, I want you to listen to something educational. Right. So listen to a podcast, you know, uh, or educational YouTube video or an audio book or something, you know, the news. I don't know. Listen to something that is going to challenge and inform your day. Listen to that for days three and day four. And then on day five and day six, I want you to listen to trap music. I want you to listen to whatever you want. Something just 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 crazy. <laughs> I won't say nasty and raunchy, but listen to some kind of trap music, some kind of hip hop music, you know. Um, and I want you to identify and journal through those days how your day is, is going, you know. So is there a difference between the days in the morning where you listen to something motivational 
you know, to listen to trap music? Like, are you encouraged a different way? Are you a little more edgy on one day other than, than the, the other day? So are on your days where you're more listening to the, the middle of the week? So on the days where you are listening to something that is informative, are you more perceptive on that day? So this is how we get to know self, right? So this video is all about knowing self and then informing and acting on that inference, okay? So do this, do this uh, experiment with me. And this is what I told my client. I'm like, okay, so what I do in the morning is I listen to gospel music, right? Or while I do my meditation or I'm outside one of the dogs, whatever it is, I usually listen to either gospel or some kind of audio book or educational thing because I feel that really sets me on my day the right way. And for me personally, it may not be you, this is why I want you to do the exercise, but I only listen to trap music when I need to be kind of, uh, 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 yeah. Like maybe during an event that I have, maybe where I have a competition coming up or where I have a super crazy workout that I have to, to accomplish or whatever. So I know myself well enough to know that if I listen to this music, I'm gonna feel this way. If I listen to this music, I'm going to want to do this. So I want you to use this experience from my client to help you identify what are the things that informs your day? What are the things that can really sway how you feel? This is where success comes from. Success comes from experiencing, identifying that experience, and then figuring out how you want to have a better experience in itself. So again, ladies, I have to tell you, and I, it's been on my heart, you are more than a WAP. You are more than what you have. Don't I don't really think men, real men, are identifying women as WAPs. Maybe some boys are, but you are more than what you have. Again, you are mothers and daughters, and you 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 are more. So internalize more, be more, be greater, be better, be bigger, be more. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. And I truly appreciate your time and your energy. I hope that I was able to give you some of my energy. And again, I cannot stress it enough. You are more than a WAP. You are more than anything. You are greater. The only thing greater than yourself is the sky and the heavens and God himself. You are more. Take that. Internalize that. And I hope that you do this exercise. It's a six-day-a-week exercise just for once. Try it. Because if we want to be successful, we have to put steps in place. But also, before we can even put the steps in place, we got to know self. We have to know self. So do this exercise with me. Let me know which days are better for you, which days turn out better for you. Because I'm really interested to hear, and I want you to take that and, again, use it. Use what I'm teaching you here to be successful. My name is Coach Kayla. This is Life, Health, and Success Made Simple. Always design your body, guys. Peace and blessings. Love and light.